Well, you guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi, my name is Eunice. Make sure you take a moment to subscribe, like this video, share this video. Today, we're going to be doing a basic makeup look or my basic everyday face a pretty like natural looking face so um we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump right into this and today we're going to be trying a few products from merit cosmetics so we're gonna first start off with my face okay i always start off with my face so the first product that we're going to be using is the merit minimal perfect complexion stick um to use this you would swipe onto skin where you want coverage and buff it out with a brush so you can't tell what's you and what's the makeup. Their products are clean, vegan, cruelty free. It says it's not a foundation, it's not a concealer, it's both. Use it only where you need it to so, so you get compliments on your skin, not your makeup, okay? I got it in the color sand. Typically, I grab with the color sand. It matches my skin tone pretty easily, so I figured I couldn't go wrong with picking the color sand. So you're gonna take the stick and you're gonna apply it where you want coverage. So I break out pretty much on my cheek area. I have a lot of discoloration. Oh, I probably didn't need that much. <laughs> um, a little bit of it goes a long way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna like spot treat a little bit. So I'm just gonna put it right where I typically will put my foundations. And I like that. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. I like that a lot. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take a BH Cosmetics brush and they said that you just buff it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to buff it out. You definitely only need a little bit of this. Merit Beauty is all about minimalist makeup, which um, less is more. And that is great for an everyday natural looking face. All right, so I'm gonna add a little bit more like on my eyelid just to make sure that I have a even overall face. Initially putting this on, um, it doesn't come off as like super oily or anything. I think the application or how it glides on is really soft. It melts into the skin wonderfully. It is a very like, I feel like a, a lightweight. I feel like you could pack it on and you could add more to possibly build it. But in my case of how I like more of a natural face, I'm not like really wanting to do that. I just really want to give a nice, light, more coverage. And so far, I like it. It looks good. It's not cakey, any type of areas. It really did melt into my skin very well. So I'm very impressed by that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and just cover, cover my entire face with some um, Maybelline Fit Me powder. So now next, I jump typically into my brows. Um, so for my brows, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Studio Gel. Um, for my brows, I ran out of my pencil a long time ago when I had this and I was like, let me use it because you guys, I have so much stuff. So much stuff that I just use or just have and I don't use. So um, it is a gel like so and I'm going to be using a angled brush to apply it. Um, so like so. So hopefully my brows look like they're matching each other. <laughs> you guys, I had to kind of um, tone down on my brows too because I know in a few videos I watch my brows look like caterpillar, caterpillars, 
we were doing way too much okay all right so now that my brows are done i like a just basic brow usually i use pencil um or i would use a brow gel um or something like this it just makes them last a lot longer on my face because i have oily skin and because my brows are kind of thin it makes them stand out more so after i do my brows we're gonna go ahead and we're going to put on some mascara we're gonna be using the clean lash mascara and I just like some basic mascara. Oh, this is a pretty like bottle. This is the brush, nice full brush. And let's go ahead and let's try this bad boy. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is one eye with mascara. This is one eye without mascara. Mm. and that's like only one coat pretty much i'm gonna go ahead and add another coat i like a lot of volume when it comes to my lashes so usually if you add, let it dry for a little bit and then you add another coat you're pretty safe because you don't want to clump that's not the look you want but you want to definitely like yeah this is the mascara and I really like the mascara the mascara it goes on really nice smooth and I'm a contact lens wearer so the fact that this also is just like a clean beauty it makes it it's safer for me to use near my eyes and I feel more comfortable using it like in my eye areas the color is in the perfect black so I definitely like the mascara y'all next I do a little bit of blush. For blush, I'm just gonna go ahead and use Tarte's blush um, in Risqué. And I like this blush because it's just a really natural looking blush. It doesn't do too much or it doesn't make me look too overly done. It just gives me a nice flush, a nice natural color on the cheeks. And that's what we all like. So smile and place a bit, you guys can see. I need to get another one of these too. Not too much, just a little bit. But a trick is if you put too much blush, take your foundation brush and pat over it to tone it down a bit. Well, usually I like a little bit of blush, just give my cheeks a little bit of warmth. Because I can be a little pale, y'all. <laughs> Lastly, I go for my lips. So we're going to be using the uh, shade stick in the color, what color is this? Taupe. This is a wash of sheer color, rich with rose hip and grapeseed oils for healthy, never sticky lips. I like more natural tones. And so, yeah, so this is what it looks like, taupe. Very pretty. I feel like it's a very natural color. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give it a try. So it kind of is like a lip gloss a little bit. Mmm, pretty color. So that's what it looks like on the bottom lip to my natural top lip color. So it's not too far off from my natural lip, which I like. I like a nice natural tone. And apply a little bit more. And it's definitely not sticky. Definitely not sticky. It glides on like butter. Very moisturizing. And it has a nice color to it. Okay. This can go great too, like over a pencil, um, over a lipstick, but alone, this is also great. I like that. Okay, you guys. So I wanted to get more of a like natural lighting situation for you guys so you guys can see like what it looks like um not with the ring light in my face, but this is actually just natural lighting. Um and what it looks like and you guys i'm blown because the cons okay so the minimalist the stick i was a little concerned about but i actually really do like it it's not like creasing or anything it's not bulging up on my skin or anything it looks amazing and then i was concerned about it being a bit too light but the um powder that i use actually like made everything even out and then also to the lip look at the lip perfect the mascara I like. So I like all three products by Myriad. I think it is amazing. Mm. 
listen so i will definitely leave all links to everything that i use down below in the description box as well as any codes that i have and everything will be down there as well like basic face okay i'm loving it um but thank you guys so much for watching make sure to rate comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i will see you guys in a later video